let's uh, meditate with uh, Pastor Ertis, Saturday, September 12, 2020. We are meditating according to the scripture reunion program and uh, we are using the 2020 Bible reader. The today reading passage is 2 Samuel chapter 17, first verse through 14 verse. The main topic is the advice of Ahitophel and Yushai. Here are some questions from the Bible readers in the aim of deepening this devotional time. You must to answer these questions. The first one is, is there a warning? Second one, what truth is God revealing to me? The third, which verse appeals to me the most? And the last one is for my prayer. Is there anything that God shows me? Whom do I have to repent of? Whom do? Whom to believe and obey Him? Why thank God and praise Him? For which to formulate my request to Him? Visit us at www.eglisedoxadeo.com Join us on Facebook at Doxadeo Lushi. Lushi is L S H I. On Twitter and YouTube, it's Doxadeo Lubumbashi. Let's pray. Father, who are like you? You have a good plan for each one of us. And if you decide to do something, if you open a door, nobody can close it. We thank you for this time. And we need your blessing in the name of Jesus. Amen. Welcome uh, to this uh, devotional time and may God bless you abundantly. We have uh, some uh, verses we want to talk about. The first one is the, the verse 5. Then Absalom said, Summon you shy, the archite also. Let's hear what he has to say as well. The big problem here is Absalom has to succeed to take the place of his father, King David. King David fled away. He left the throne and now the new king for some times became Absalom his son. And the king the, the king Absalom, the new king needed some pieces of advice from his counselors, from his advisors. The first one is Aito Fell. Aito Fell was like a prophet. His advice equals in that time almost the word of God. And Aito Fell came and said to King Absalom that they, not they have, but him as a counselor will take the head of a group of uh, 
he will take a group of uh, some soldiers, about uh, 12,000. They will follow the King David. He will look for only the King David. He will attack him, beat him, kill him, and then all the people that follow King David will become the people of Absalom. They will follow Absalom. He will kill King David. And then Absalom will be the king of all the people of Israel. But as we will see, King Absalom needed another piece of advice. He summoned to bring Yushai, the archite, to hear from him some piece of advice, some counsel. When Yushai came, he gave he gave another advice. The advice of Yushai was against the previous advice of Aitofel. He said that as King David is a man of war, if Aitofel took a group of men to push us, to follow, to look for, to search King David, as King David is the greatest king of Israel, he was a man of war, it will be very difficult, it will be tough for Aitofel to find him and to beat him because he was a great conqueror, he was a great man of war. This is why Yushai said that it's better the advice from Aitofel is not bad, but it's a good advice for another time, not this time. And he proposed to Absalom that they can gather all the men of Israel and they will look for, they will search King David where he can hide in some place as the army of Israel will be a big army. They will look carefully in every place to find King David and to kill him and all the person, persons with him. The King Absalom and the elders of Israel agreed with uh, this uh, counsel, this uh, advice from uh, Yushai. What happened in this story? It shows us that God is in control in your life. Maybe the circumstances are against you. Maybe you are in the dark. You can see nothing coming. Because here, in this place, King David was not there. All the things was just between Absalom and his counselors and the elders of Israel. But David was not there. 
as God was in control, we can see that God protected his King David. He protected him and he, he arranged things to allow David to escape this uh, trap. King David was very far, but the king was in a big problem because he has the first advice from Aithophel, a good counselor, a good advisor, and the second advisor was Yushai. Now, everybody chose the advice from Yushai because God is in control. We have uh, a, a proverb, proverb uh, 21, verse 1. We can read it uh, quickly. Proverb 21, verse 1. Let's read it. A king's heart is like a channeled water in the Lord's hand. He directs it wherever he chooses. The heart of King Absalom was in the hands of God instead of choosing the good advice from Aitofel, he directs the heart of King Absalom to choose the counsel, the advice from Yushai. The second thing is, inside the advice from Yushai, there was a kind of pride. In the first advice, in the Aitofel advice, Aitofel said, I will go, I will strike the King David and all the people around him will become yours. But in the Aitofel, uh, in the Yushai advice, here Yushai put King Absalom in the first place. He is like uh, promoting his pride. But if uh, we can uh, read uh, Proverbs 16, we will understand something. Proverbs 16, verse 18. Pride comes before destruction, and an arrogant spirit before destruction. A fall. The pride of Absalom will bring his fall. He wanted to kill his father, but he did not remember that there was some decision from God that Absalom will be killed. But in that part, we have not reached this place of it will be killed. What we can say about uh, this uh, reading passage, God is in control in your life. Even if you don't see anything, even if you don't hear anything, even if you don't uh, smell anything but God is in control David the King David was, was very far he was not uh, with Absalom but uh, God make arrangement to keep uh, the King David alive because he wanted to fulfill 
his plan on his life. May God bless you. Let's pray. Father, thank you. Thank you because you are a good God for us. You take care of us. You are controlling our lives. Even if we are in the dark, even if we don't see anything coming, but we know that you are working, you are controlling every circumstances of our life. Thank you for that. Thank you for taking care of us. In the name of Jesus, amen. Our address, www.eglisedoxadeo.com On Facebook, Doxadeo Lushi. On Twitter and uh, YouTube, Doxadeo Lubumashi. Have a wonderful weekend and may God bless you. Bye-bye.